Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it is that time. Time to take up another champion. Now, after that last level up, you guys have no idea who I'm about to take up. I thought about trolling you because everybody knew who I was going to take up when that level up event hit and Cosmic Advancement hit. Everyone knew. And I thought about putting this one instead because I actually did this rank up before I took up my last champion. But I didn't troll you guys. And so if you want to guess who I took up this time, let me know in the comments below. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Immortal Abomination. So I got Immortal Abomination as a six star uh, not that long ago. And I wanted to take him up. Now, in one of my videos, I got a lot of science class catalysts. I had a bunch in my overflow even. And that was fine because I knew I had this guy. And I said, you know what? He is rank three worthy. The only reason I didn't want to take him up all the way to rank three at that time was because I knew that I was going to be taking another champion up. I'm trying not to spoil it. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go look at the previous Mystery Rank Up Theater. Um, but I wanted to save all of my resources so that I could take that champion all the way up. Now, whether I take this champion to rank three or not, is going to depend on my resources and perhaps who else I get. Now, I also need to make my account tour video. And I wanted to do that after I did all of my rank ups, including the one that I did in the last uh, rank up video. So this guy, I have him as a five star rank five. I used him in the Summer of Pain event. He is a beast. I run suicides. He is beautiful with suicides. Now, he may not be the fastest killer, but he is really good. Uh, in the Summer of Pain, I used him to good effect. He was one of the few champions that were viable, I would say, um, without using a ton of resources. And that, I think, probably during the Summer of Pain was when I had a newfound respect for him. Because before that, I didn't really use him. So while I heard that he was good and I saw some people using him, it really wasn't until that Summer of Pain event that I really um, got a chance to use him myself and see for myself just how good he actually is. Um, even if they are, because I was worried about this, even if they are poison immune, you just do a different rotation if they're poison immune. I was worried about that because I took him into uh, one of the side quests, I think it was, or event quest, and uh, there was some poison immune champions I was facing, and he was rocking everybody else. And I was like, okay, I'm worried. How is he going to do? He did fine. Okay. So whether they're poison immune or not poison immune, he does an excellent, excellent job. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I used some off, uh, off a class ISO uh, only because I just didn't feel like putting in a lot more. And you see, I used up a lot of my uh, science. So I don't have science. I don't know why his portrait doesn't appear here. Um, that happens. All right. Uh, I think it's a, a bug introduced in the latest uh, update. All right. So for the next portion, of course, we're going to go into Realm of Legends and fight Winter Soldier. I don't expect it to be a very, very short fight uh, because he's just not that type of champion. All right. So... Uh, let's get to it.
Okay, before we go in there, let me show you the synergies that I have active. So we brought in King Groot, uh, Personal Poison and Acid Burn effects, uh, gain 15% potency, means he's gonna do more damage. Heavy attacks inflict an armor break. Uh, that can also be more damage for the 15 seconds. Uh, then we've got uh, this one with Red Skull. Not realistic because I wouldn't be bringing Red Skull in uh, for this, but the basic attacks required to trigger a self-poison are reduced by two. And then you've got more crit rating, okay? So let's go ahead in here. And I, it's been a while since I fought with this guy. So uh, if I make any mistakes and don't play him quite right, forgive me. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build up to a special three first. I remember doing that during the Summer of Pain. I don't know why I just got hit, but it doesn't matter. Just look at his health, don't matter. All right, but we'll build up to a special three. And after the special three, uh, we'll hit him with a special two. And then I think it's special one spam until um, the acid burn wears off. And then wash, rinse, and repeat. But already he's doing, you know, a nice little chunk of damage there. But that's not where his damage comes from. But let's do it. Ooh, interception! Putting lots of poisons on him. Every time he hits me, he gets a weakness on him. Okay. I'm just uh, building up that special too. And as you can see... He's doing pretty well. Now I'm gonna try and do almost to a special three. Like that. Hit him with a special two. And now, look at the damage. Come on. Oh yeah, he don't wanna do nothing like that. Hit him with another special two. Yeah, anything to keep me off of him, but that's all right. Look at that damage. We've got two acid burns up right now. Hit him with another special two. And I want you to note, even after firing off all of those um, specials, where his health is. And I'm running suicides. And I'm firing off specials like there's no tomorrow. All right, acid burn is running out now. There, and they're gone. All right, let's hit the special one just cause. Finish it off, boom. And he finishes the fight with 100% health. This is a rank two, six star immortal abomination. So maybe not the fastest killer, but I like it. And he is definitely rank three worthy. So you can see here, basic attacks did 33% of the damage. Other 23% and poison 17%. I think you can combine those two. Um, I, I think the acid burn, I don't know if it counts as a poison or the other. Not sure on that one. Okay, and look at the damage to myself. Look at how much of my damage came from recoil. But yet, I'm at 100% health in the end. It's good. It's real good. All right, so I love this uh, screen because it gives you a lot more information. You can see here all the stats uh, during the fight. Way better than the uh, previous one. All right, uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this rank up. What do you think about Immortal Abomination? All right, take care. And you all have a blessed day.